All right, in this video, let's do a horizontal summation problem. Okay, so that's what this that's what this kind of thing is called. When you have two demand curves, uh, we're going to add them together at different quantities, or rather, at, at the price, uh, we're going to add those quantities together to get the total. Okay, so it's kind of like the combined demand. Uh, factory, so this is a little different because we've got on the y-axis, individual firm marginal benefit. So this is the price that they're willing to pay or the benefit from polluting. And then on the quantity uh, axis, we've got the, the amount of pollution. So really this is a market for pollution uh, and that's how to read this. Okay, so we've got a, a problem that says that if the government wants to decide the optimal pollution level is nine and wants to uh, create an excise tax to reduce pollution to the optimal level, which tax should it be set at? So. Uh, what we can do is we have to find out where quantity nine is is reached uh, on the x-axis. Okay, so like for example, if they set the price at one, factory one will pull, will produce to here. We just follow this out to where it hits that demand curve. Factory two will produce eight units. Um, so that's four plus eight. That's a total of twelve pollution units. That's too much pollution. Okay. So now let's do a two dollar tax. Uh, it's going to be three and a half and seven. That gets us to ten and a half. Let's do a three dollar tax. Let's do that gets us to three and six. Three plus six is nine. That's our answer. So the tax is going to be three dollars per unit. And then if we wanted to know the tax revenue, we're just going to multiply, uh, here I'll type that here, tax revenue equals the tax times quantity of pollution. So in this case, uh, they're going to produce nine units. So tax revenue equals $3 times nine units and the tax revenue would be 27 okay slightly different issue that's going on here we've got instead whoops sorry, set that there uh, now the government one just imposes a law restricting pollution to four units per factory what's the total cost okay so so now uh, each factory is allowed to produce four units so uh, we just go to here so we're going to actually follow this one up. Okay, so this is just a restriction. Uh, quantity stops here. So if you're given some other cost, then you can calculate what the uh, what the cost is. Like if it if it says um, you know that, that each unit of pollution costs a dollar to clean up or something, then you would uh, multiply that that cleanup cost by the quantity that's being cleaned up. But if you're not given that, then you have to assume it's the opportunity cost, whatever's given up. So for each of these uh, factories, factory two is going to lose this amount of benefit. Okay, and you can just get that by uh, one half base times height. And then factory one, theirs is much bigger. It's going to go all the way down here because they're we're going to assume they're a bigger factory or something so it's all the way up here so it's a really big number so you add the add both of those together and you'll get the the, the loss to uh to the factory which is really the cost of cleaning up or of not polluting okay